Hello and welcome back to Craftimation 101. In our last episode, we continued with our expansive programs, uh, our extensive programs, this time adding in the ability to maintain three and then eventually we'll add the other two trees in for maintenance as well. And we also have a worker who is checking to make sure there's at least five logs in all three of these furnace fires. At some point, we might even take these furnaces and upgrade them. Nope, that's the wrong button and upgrade them to or upgrade all of our bonfires to furnaces as well if it looks like we will be able to sustain a large amount of uh, wood production and i think we will honestly but uh, we also have to get copper stuff going a bit more here with the copper wire and then the rotors as well uh, we should be able to do that though with just the copper but i think i want to follow what the game wants me to follow here which is to either make the radio lamps or to work on the brewery. Now, it did skip the step we left off on. We have not yet thawed out the brewery. Uh, we're going to do that hopefully shortly. But until then, we um, we want to work on this stuff. I also noticed here that there's uh, a, a distinctive lack of uh, jobs for these folks to do. They're bouncing back and forth between the four of them now because we're not using any of these things. So we should start making things. Uh, that can use these things, which the radio lamps are a great candidate for. So let's double check that radio lamp recipe here, which is uh, a, uh, a, a electric plate and sand, or sorry, glass to make those, which means we need to get working on the, the sand and glass production here. And I was just looking around to see there's a little bit more soil over here, or a lot more soil over here, so we could work our way up to that once we run out of this, but there's almost 3,000 here, so we should be okay for a little while. Uh, let's move this over here, here, and here. I'm being careful so they don't eat them, because they will eat them. Uh, but oh, we also did one other thing, too. We also upgraded something. Variable logic, I think, which it compares the coordinates of two variables for equality and follows one of two paths, depending on the result. I'd like to try to use that to clean up the program we wrote last time for the trees as well. But we'll get uh, at least one bot here making sand and glass, and then we can um, we can go with that. So let's, let's write another big program. A big program. Uh, let's go with functions, uh, add a function. Um, well, that's not what I wanted to do just yet, but that's fine. This function, oh, I thought I just clicked there, but I guess I didn't. Uh, this function we will call uh, sand in my years. It's a robot joke, what are you gonna do? Uh, so this one needs to be similar to the other ones where we, um, where we check to see, let's see, we need to check to see what's in We'll go with this one. If there's uh, if there's more than, we'll go with um, 10 sand, I think. If there's more than 10 sand, then we're gonna move on and, ch and try to make uh, glass instead. Or equal to. And then it, we'll go with glass, we'll go 20 glass though, because I think glass is gonna be more useful than sand is. Uh, and that'll be in this box. Now let's swap those. Let's put this here and we'll put that over there. Actually, I should probably put these in variables as well. Uh, let's see. And now this is going to be possibly useful. Let's do um, for the for the thing that I'm trying to accomplish here. Let's do this. No, let's do this for sand. There. And then we'll do another one. And that'll be this one for glass. And if we have too much glass, then we're going to have to figure out something else to do with them. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to send them to the usual outputs of um, check and eat, which is over here. Actually, I should put a uh, intermediary connector in there, too. And that'll go here. This will go there. And then this will go to the output, right? I think that's what we did in the other ones. So if we don't have enough sand, oh, this goes here, too. If we don't have enough sand, what do we want to do? Uh, with this uh, with this program. Uh, let's make sand. So we need to start that by making fire. And you have no idea where to go. Good. That goes here. And then uh, find and pick soil. Here. And then uh, combine those. I'm do this vertically. 
And then I want you to deposit that into this one. And then you can basically exit the program. Uh, if you have enough sand, then you're going to make glass instead. So you're going to um, make fire from here. Then you're going to find and pick sand. Um, I could also do a... No, that's not what I want. I want sand. I can also do a just pick from the specific box again, this one here. But I think I'm going to do it this way. Um, that could be disadvantageous, but I think it's fine for right now. And then we need to do um, combine. And then we need to drop it to the uh, glass box. And then once you've done all of that, then we'll hopefully have something else for you to do. And so we're only going to have one of these workers because they're going to take a little bit of time to make all those things anyway. So you're going to go and eyeball that. It's empty. Okay, so make this get the stuff you need to make the fire, which means you got to come all the way over here to get coal, which isn't the greatest given where you started from, but it's also kind of the way that it works sometimes. That one's almost gone finally. Wow. All right, and then uh, ooh, you're out of power. Yeah, it's still being tough with the make something wet program. It's too long uh, for the for the for the fuel check because the fuel check doesn't happen until 14%. So I may need to break that pro that program down a little bit somehow. Because they don't check... How often are they checking for that? Um, uh, make something wet. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, they're going through the whole thing before they check. That's what I need to change. They need to do each segment of this once and then check, and then do the next segment, and then check, and then do the next segment, and then check for all of the plant-based segments. So if we wanted to make this better, could we do it with these variables? Uh, we need to get, no, find, maybe. Hmm, I want something that does like variable, I guess maybe compare, no. I wanted to like cycle through a set of variables kind of similar to the way that we do the um, the repeat. So the repeat does loops through a function depending on how many times you want it to repeat. What I'd like it to do is like loop through an array of variables and do a task for each one. And there's no real way to do that that I can see here unless I'm just being thick about it so you might have to be a little bit more creative here and put in a check and eat just maybe even just temporarily here put in a check and eat here that goes that goes in between here and then put in another check and eat uh, here that goes in here And that way they check and eat after every segment of that of that process rather than um, only once at the end because that definitely needs to be something that happens. So I don't know how to get them to loop through an array and I may be being thick about this but I, I'd like for them to... I'd like to have this code simplified to where we only have variables input into a function and that function is, well, I could make it a separate function. That would simplify it somewhat. Um, that would simplify it somewhat. Yeah, that would. Uh, so maybe we do that then instead. Uh, if we add a function, Call this one uh, water tree, water plant. And then we want this to kind of be a duplicate of that portion. Um, but instead, we need to check to see if, and I'm going to do this with variable input. So we're going to variable input here. Uh, I would like them to. Um, let's see, I would like them to check the input 
of this spot. If this spot has at least 20 water, then they can pick up that water. But instead, what we should do is, is do the check plant first. We should do the check plant first. Okay, so check plant. Uh, check plant, there it is. Took me a minute to find it. Check the plant at, uh, let's see, plant location, which is actually going to be, we're going to have to have three of these input variables, I think. One for the, um, one for the water. Can you rename input variables? I guess not. That's kind of unfortunate. So I have to keep, keep in my memory what each of the functions, each of the inputs is for if I want to add three of them. But I'm going to need three of them, so let's add three of them. So we'll, we'll go with um, plant, water, wood, because I think that's kind of the order it's used in anyway. So check the plant at the plant site. If it's starving, then you need to check the water site. Uh, so that would be compare count. Uh, if there's at least 20 water in the water site, then... Ooh, I might even do... No, I can do this differently. Okay. Then, if there's at least 20 water in the water site, then I want you to pick from that water site. And go about your business that we're going to work on here. If there's less than that amount of water in the water site, then I want you to do the make fire and find and pick. Um, this goes from here, though, and this goes not there. Make fire. Uh, find and pick ice. Ice. And then uh, combine. And now you have water, or you have water, so now we can continue on to watering the tree, which is uh, this step here, which is a compare count on the tree site for uh, one water. Compare count. And this was a safety margin here, a safety uh, thing here. On the tree site, that goes here, for one water um, item, I guess. And then we did, if there is greater than or equal to one already there, then you need to drop that water back to the, um, back to the water site because we had, we had it in our hands. So greater than or equal to, you drop back to the water site. And then we did, if it's less than, then you drop it into the tree site. which is this one because it's tree water log and then we go to our connector and actually in this case we would just go to the output because that's all this is doing is watering the tree so we don't actually need the third one then we don't need the because oh, I guess we do because this is it uh, so it's not really water plant it's tend plant uh, I gotta back up the whole thing Ten plant. Okay. Uh, so then if it's growing, we do nothing. Right? If it's growing, we skip all the way to the end. Yep. Growing, skip to the end. And if it's ripe, then we uh, pick from it and drop it to the, the storage. Okay, so then we pick from... Let me push this down here out of the way a little bit. Pick from the tree site and drop to the log site is there and then we get out of here right yeah so that'll be just our tend plant portion of this larger make something wet command um or a uh, function rather so let's let's hope we did that right <laughs> uh so now we need to redo this and i want to redo this in a few different ways so i'm going to push this all down here because we're going to work up here the first thing I want to do is I want to have them uh, do a compare count on the water box to make sure there's 20 in there. If there's not, 
If, if there is, then we're going to continue. If there's not, then I want them to make water, which is uh, make fire. Find and pick water. Water. And then um, combine. And then drop to the uh, water storage again. If there's more, then we're going to continue with the rest of the program. And the rest of the program is going to be to uh, tend a plant, which is here. And it was plant site, water site, or water storage, and then uh, wood storage. So the plant site, I'm actually going to do a new variable for this, uh, just because... Um, I think it'll be easier to, to do. This plant site will be this one, and that'll go into input one uh, there. And then the water site will go into input two, and the, the wood site will go into input three. And that'll tend the plant, and that'll come out. And after they've tended this plant once, they need to do a check and eat. And then they can tend plant again. But this time, uh, we can go and hook up the water and the wood. But this time, we'll have a different variable for the plant they're tending. And I think this will work out the best in the end, even though, or the best with what we have, I should say, because we don't have what I was looking for, of course, uh, with the uh, the array type of thing. But this will let them tend a, a, a programmed number of plants. Um, so basically we're doing this entire thing here in one of these, which we, we reprogrammed, I think, properly. And then we check and eat, and then we do this entire thing with the next plant, and then we check and eat, and then we do this entire thing with the third plant, and then we check and eat. Instead of having all this spaghetti, this will be, I think, a bit simpler. I think. Uh, let's see, if it's less, then you dropped it, then you can go actually to the tend plant also here, which is a little bit wonky. We'll have to clean that up a little bit, I think. I'll, I'll clean up when I move things around, um, because you've made water and then you need to go and tend, tend plants now. Um, actually, no, that should go to the output, I think. Should that go to the output? Because they, if there's way less water, then I want them to make a bunch. So yes, that'll go to the output instead of the um, instead of this cycle. So it'd be kind of like two branches here, depending on if there's enough water made or not. Okay, so back to this ten plant again with a variable up here. This variable will be the third tree, and I'm still not going to add in the uh, fourth and fifth ones just yet. We're going to make sure this works before we move on with our lives a little bit. Uh, water. And then wood. And I don't actually I don't know that we need more than three either, given how much wood we have. Until we have more uh, furnaces, of course. Uh, then we'll do a check and eat again. And then that'll go to the output because we're only going to tend three trees right now. At least I think this will work. So on the input, we need to change this now to go to this choice. And we have a ridiculous amount of water, as you can see. So we should start seeing uh, specifically this bot we have selected. Uh, the other ones will also take this program because they have this program, but this bot we have selected will jump into it on our screen. We can see where it's at on the screen. And it's un unfortunately way over here in the middle of its uh, program. So maybe I'll do a reset. Once it eats. Two. Three. Uh, uh, uh. And it moves on, and I'm going to reset, and then I'm going to start again. And so now instead, this bot will come up to this new program that we wrote. And I got to make sure that all the bots that were on this program are either reset or have started anew with this program. But we want to watch this bot work. So you grabbed water straight from there. You didn't make your own. Uh, so now you are on plant two, and then you're on plant three, which needed to be picked. So then you went to the end, and you started over again. Okay, and then here, oh, you skipped that because it was working. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's good, I like it. Okay, it was growing still. Uh, so it skipped through those ones. And 
I might do it again. Nope, not enough time. Okay. Oh good, they're picking now. Excellent. Mmm. You know what I forgot? I forgot the on error for this one. Uh, wait. Um, the on error from the dropping in the water, the dropping of the water in the tree to the, putting it in the, uh, uh, yeah, this here. That's what I forgot. Oopsie. If two of them are on the same step, then it allows them to dump that water off in the uh, other one. So I think this is working now. I think. Yes, so you saw it said, oops, I didn't need that water. I'm going to put it back in the box. All right, so we have just two of them doing this job, I think, right now. I wish you could tell based on the, um, like, looking at the function, how many bots have it. Um, but you can't. But it looks like just the two of them are working this job, unless one of them died somewhere else, uh, which I guess we could go look for anybody who's dead. Like this one right here, for example. Excuse me? Excuse me. No, wait, that's a Maintain Fires one. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Have a snack. The Fires one needs to be checked also. Uh, so we just have two of them doing um, doing this. And we already looked at Feft the Clumsy. Feft the Clumsy is definitely on the new program. Um, tending the plant. And also Mim the, wherever Mim is, Mim the Grim, is also uh, on the tend to plant function, I believe now. Let's just make sure that Mim jumps into that. So you're gonna check the water box first, good. And now you're checking all the things, good. So we can go in to make something wet and remove all the extra fluff in here that we don't need anymore. So that means uh, this, that, this, that. Got to be a little bit careful here because I don't want to accidentally delete something from the other program. But uh, this and that. And this goes away then because that's the tree that we don't need anymore. Or the tree variable we didn't need anymore. This, that, this, this, that. Uh, that, this, that. Hope I didn't delete something on the game screen. That would have been bad. Uh, these can be deleted then. Don't need any of those anymore. This, that, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, this, and that, as well as that one. So now we can clean this up a little bit somehow. Uh, the tree variable here, the water variable there, that's probably fine to leave those down here, although maybe they should be... Eh, either way, it's not great. Uh, move the input up here. Move the output up here also. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Although the wires, at least are different colors, so you can kind of tell what's going on. Alright, so that's, that's cleaned up that program as well. So now we have them maintaining three trees, and they have a crap ton of wood stored up. Uh, I do need to move all this water up here before they... Um, you know, uh, need to need to retire there or start making new. That way we can use this box down here for something else uh, later. I kind of wish you could move all of it at the same time, but I don't know that there's a way to move more than one. I could have programmed a bot to do this, but Wallbot's faster. So we, we need to get back to the brewery. Um, we need to also get, get on to making the... Um, oh, you're... Broken. You maintain fires. How did you get broken? 
Why do you have a box in your hand? Is that something that I did when I was accidentally clicking on the, the home screen here someplace? Yeah, there's no box there. Oopsie. I must have done something with that. That was the firebox. Unless I screwed up something else, that was the firebox. And you are Tot the Clumsy who was... I never finished the program. That's why. Okay, so you got stuck there. Uh, close this. Close this. Close that. So you made one sand, and then I never finished your individual program, which was to... Uh, should I do the check and eat? I did do the check and eat here. I forgot to send you to idle after your program was done. Oopsie. You may proceed. <laughs> All that time, and I made one sand. Oops. All right, this looks this looks better uh, in terms of operating that, and we have a crap ton of wood now. So, uh, radio lamps we can't make yet because we don't have what we need. We do have another furnace though, so we should bring this up here to thaw this thing out, which means that I need to find my friend the uh, the 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 wood spreader, which is you, I'm guessing. Yeah, it looks like this is the good. Maintain furnaces. Yeah, you need a new furnace now, which we could add in to this, although that's kind of messy. It's kind of messy. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, uh, compare count. Here. Uh, those will go up here, but we need a variable first for that. So we'll do a variable. Your new fire, or furnace to maintain, rather, is this one. Uh, that'll connect to this. Please. Oh, input. Output. There we are there and we need five in there i haven't wired it in yet but we're gonna wire it in soon then we need to drop two here and that is also going to be wired into that and then that'll go to the output here uh, that's if less so we know that part right there you connect to something else you are you're connected to the more the more goes here the equal goes here and then the more goes here, and the equal goes here. Uh, separate those just a bit more here, or push them out a little bit more here. Like that. This program could probably get improved too. So you found a new fire that you need to keep maintaining, which means that every time through this loop, you're gonna hit that one pretty fast because uh, the rest of them are pretty f pretty good. Yeah, so you just already found that the rest of them are full and is working on that one. So now we need to add water to the brewery, which is part of the reason why I wanted to have this here uh, because I knew I wanted to add the water and then we need to add a mushroom, which are here. Oh, we had 25 water here too. Ah, good. New object, mushroom. New object, Speedy Ale. Treat one of them with Speedy Ale. How about you? I missed. You can have some Speedy Ale. Nope, missed again. Uh, how's things? We made progress. We'll do this option here. Four out of five. Okay, good. Uh, close that. Go away. There. Gobble, gobble. She even called faster. Speed up a craftomate with ale. Holy craftomate. Batman, they are faster. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's move this water in here, because why not? Um, and then we need to execute a command center goal, which is what I expected, which is why I was making the glass, or trying to make the glass in the sand, which we should actually go check on. We got nine sand, so at least it's still making progress. And then we'll, that means we'll start making glass here shortly. There's some potions over here, too. There we go. All right, so we got to focus on the command center goals, which are these. We could always make more of those potions, at least until we run out of mushrooms. I think the spores here are mushrooms as well, right? Yeah, mushrooms. So we're gonna have to do another copy of this, or, or maybe even the same folks here. Uh, actually, it looks like maybe definitely the same ones. 
um, to maintain the mushrooms as well. It'll be 112 wood. That's a lot. Because we're going to need to plant more mushrooms. And what if those... Here's something we haven't looked at, really, is that the mushroom spores are made from combining a mushroom and a wood, whereas the wood seeds are made from combining wood and water. So if we need more wood seeds, we could get them. Uh, I don't think we do, since we have two of them that are completely unused. Um, and then we have two mushrooms that we can start working on, plus ten more spores up here. Holy crap. Actually, I think I remember that you have to make the mushrooms that they don't just return back into the seeds again. Uh, but we'll see. Um, you may have to make the spores, replant them, remake the, combine the, the mushroom in the wood to make them kind of thing. We'll try it out in a little while. Uh, so let's see, you want radio thingies. We can make those now. Um, eventually this bot is gonna be bored um, because it's gonna have all the glass that it needs here. And so we might as well have you start making things with the glass because I don't know what else we need glass for that we're gonna make a lot of besides radio lamps. Uh, there may be things that I'm not remembering, but most things, primordial ale crafted in the brewery. Don't know what that's for, but that's wooden water. Um, okay, so let's do, uh, is that steel silver dot on it? Let's do a um, let's do an uh, edit to the to the glass and sand person here. Once they've made all the glass they need, um, we need you to instead keep going. Push this out this way, and to keep going, you're gonna start making uh, radio lamps. So radio lamps are. Glass plus the um, the metal, the electric metal plates, right? I hope so. I guess I should check. Yeah, the the charged metal plates. So after you've after the glass situation is good, and the um, and the sand situation is good, then I want you to compare count. Uh, let's put it over here, and then we'll move it in. Compare count on this box right here. Uh, now I lost my guy. Who's my guy? There you are. Um, this box right here. Although I could put that in a ver I should put that in a variable. That should be a variable. That way I don't have to program it later. Because we're going to need it for a couple things. Check this box. If there are not yet 20 of the um, radio lamps in there, then we'll need you to uh, make more. If there are, then um, you can go there instead. Oops, there. There we are. If there are less, then you need to find and pick uh, glass. Find and pick a charged plate, smash those together, and then drop it to this variable slot here. And then that will go out this way as well. Uh, this goes here. Okay, so you will go, oopsie, you will go here. You will go there. How did I do that again? I pointed at the wrong thing. I probably did. This goes there. This can wedge in there like this. You can go here. You can go there. You can go here. And you can go there. And we might need another bot on this job. Because we might have... Uh, it, it, it does take them a while to, to, to build up everything we asked for because they have to keep making more sand that I wasn't really thinking about. Because um, every time they make a glass, then they have to make a sand, so, to make up for it. So maybe, maybe we have to do that. Wherever you went, you're gonna need to get back here pretty quickly. Oh no, did you die on me? Is that you? It is. 
All right, so you're gonna need a different a different configured program here. I'll give you one. You can continue again, and we're gonna edit your program because even though you're zippy, apparently you still don't um, work properly because you're getting all the way to this part. Yeah, there's a lot of walking. Why'd you go that way? Oh, because you're going to get more food already. Did you burn through more... F I wonder if you burned through more fuel. Because it died again already. I bet you burn through more fuel when you're under the... Um, under the effects of the uh, the juice here. But you only have a little bit more time in turbo mode there anyways. No, it says you still have more. Okay, I think it's a bit more stable now. But you're going to have to get caught up pretty fast. But I do have you tending each fire in a sequence. Yeah, that one just... Oh, they don't need to maintain that, because that maintains zone heat. I think this is too, actually. Or do I have you maintaining? No, I have you exiting after each fire, so... They don't maintain the fires in sequence. Which is actually good, because then you check and eat after each fire. Uh, if if you needed to do something to a fire, you check and eat after the fire. But if you didn't, then you get through all those, you go back and drop it, and maybe you run out of juice then? Is that the deal? And then you don't make it all the way down here to the fuel because it's way the heck down here. Barely make it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's potentially a problem. Alright, I think you're okay now, though. Just depends on that whole fuel thing. It's, it's kind of interesting that they don't detect low fuel until they're at... Um, 15 or whatever it is, 14, 15, because that's not very good. Hmm, interesting. Are you still working on the glass sand situation here? Yeah, there you are. Okay. Yeah, your problem is you got to go so far to get to between the stone you decided to use and the coal that's available. And so now you're down to 10, which is fine. I think I just need more fuel up in this area so that they don't have to go as far to get fuel. It might have to be something we change to not have the fuel be way down here at the bottom edge of the map. Uh, it should be... What is over there? Oh, okay. More spores, more seeds. Like we need the seeds, but it, it might be logical to put this, put the fuel up here someplace instead, or have multiple bots make it fuel, uh, or multiple bots, multiple drop points for for fuel for bots. That might be a good idea too. I could even change the current make fuel program. I should actually to have two boxes of fuel and have them drop some there and drop some there. Once this has so much in it, you know what I mean. So let's find. Somebody here, you. Uh, which we don't have this as a separate program, so maybe we should also do a function for that. Uh, this one can be uh, make fuel, and then we can actually replace that, uh, or make coal brick, I think, really, because we're gonna end up having to make a different program when it's time for that. So you will find and pick stone, find and prick, and then pick. 
stone. Find and pick coal brick, or coal rather, smash them together. Uh, and then drop it into, or then you need to check count, compare count. If, uh, let's see, let's go with uh, variable, just four reasons. This one will be that box. There. If you've got 20 in there. Uh, that's good, I guess, for now. If you've got 20 in there, then you can then go to the other box. And drop it there. Actually, just drop it there. Don't even do this part, because if we do another then we have to have something to do with it after both fail, and we don't have anything to do with them after both fail. So let's make this box the other one. Um, and then let's go uh, with a drop two here. That's fine, actually. Do that. You can drop to there after it's greater than or equal to. That'll go to the output. And then we need another drop two down here. That'll go from here, go with this variable, and go with the output as well. That'll work, I think. So let's put that here in, in Zoof's uh, program. Uh, so you'll go here, and then you'll go there, and that'll do it. And I gotta find the other one yet, but this is Zoof the Slow. Smart Wally, make a, make a robot that uh, is slow to make fuel. No, it's not actually slow, but you know. Okay, so you, yep. Good. You detected that there was too much in there, which there's way too much in there for that. And then you're going to the other spot to drop it in there. And that means that when they up when these ones up here say, hey, I need fuel, they're gonna come down and they're gonna come only that far to find it, which is what we want to happen. So uh, let's close these and let's find the other one, which is Zuf the Big. Really, Wally? Okay. Uh, make coal brick make this here we'll make that there and then once you've looped through the program and you jump down to this one i'll delete those four steps there we are did i have a did i have more i think i had more i think it was able the mad as well yep make coal brick go there Go there. Okay. Somebody put it in there still. Is it Buzz the Skinny? It is Buzz the Skinny. Okay, then I will give you another program too. This one. This one. And luckily you're in the middle of eating right now, so... There we go. I want to see if anybody else dropped into that box. Because that'll be my answer. You checked and left. Good. You're eating. You're eating. You checked and left. Good. Chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp. You checked and left. Let's give it a little bit more time. Checked and left. Checked and left. Yeah, I think we're good now. I think there's three, so that's good. And that means we'll have at least some fuel up here. Uh, you're still dead, so you still need help. Come on down. Oh, you're still zippy. You're still faster. And is that the problem? It could be the problem. But at least we'll get some fuel up here, and at least get one fuel from here, even if it's not, there's not enough for, all, for them to eat completely, before they have to come down here and fulfill their needs uh, further. It's probably a good idea to have the fuel boxes scattered throughout the base rather than only in one spot. Are we there yet? I want to get one radio lamp made automatically with that bot before we um, before we end this episode, which we're just about done now. They've only got one more basically cycle to complete. I could have also had a bunch of bots making fire and just dropping them in a box, and then anybody who needed fire to go and get it from the box and put it into a bonfire. Holy crap. Oh, I, I remember I was watching the episode, and there's somebody still putting these in here. It's you. 
it's you. Okay, so pause you, reset you. This one here might just be surplus, actually. We probably don't need it. Let's drop it down here because these fires are all getting maintained reasonably? Maybe not reasonably. Maybe not. Okay, let's find another fire tender. Is that you? Are you a fire tender? Maintain fires. It is. Okay. Copy. Paste. And then you can maintain fires as well now. There we go. And you're up here snacking away. Good. 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 Ten and twenty. That means we can make a radio lamp now. There you grab the glass for the radio lamp. Excellent. And... You grab the plate, you make the radio lamp, and there it is. All right, so we're going to end this for here for right now. Wait, Bob the Goofy's also stuck. Why is Bob the Goofy? You're in the middle of the steps. Yeah, I think I should change that too so they check and eat on the maintained fires. Maybe not every fire, but maybe every three or four. Uh, we have seven right now, so maybe every four. Just put a step in here to check and eat uh, before they continue, just in case. That wouldn't be that hard to do. Actually, let's go ahead and do that now. This goes here, and then you can check and eat there, and then you can continue on there. And that way, they don't have to go quite as far before they make sure that they don't need to eat some more before they proceed with their lives and their jobs. And their, well, they're not alive, but you know what I mean. So let's leave this here for now. In the next episode, we will uh, continue our progress toward the command center goal of having 20 of these, which will take a little bit of time for that one bot, but maybe we build another bot. Now that we're making some of these uh, automated, we can build the bots a little bit easier because we'll have these available. And then we can, um, you know, make, make all the things uh, that come later. So why were you paused? Were you in the middle of that when I was editing it? I bet you were. So you got confused. And now you're making fire with fire? I bet. Yeah, you are. Okay, reset you. That's fine. And then go again. Anybody else frozen? Yeah, that's the problem with editing the, editing the programs in the middle is you never know exactly what's gonna come of it. All right, so let's leave this here before I find something else wrong. Um, and in the next episode, we will um, we will keep going to see uh, what else we can we can uncover, we can do, we can we can find, we can something. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all then. Bye for now.